Hey, how's it going everyone? I'm Sean from Start to Finish Gaming, formerly Feral SC, and welcome back to the single player adventure series here on Ark Survival Evolved. So in the last episode, we went over to the snow biome and we got ourselves the artifact of the strong right here on the map, all the way up, up pretty much in the left hand corner near the artifact of the Skylord. Guys, as you can see, I am here. Uh, we are ready. We're here at the Red Obelisk, guys. Um, yeah, I think you know what time it is. We are going into the dragon fight, which is absolutely crazy. Absolutely insane. Um, I'm really excited for this. I hope you guys are too. Um, just to give you a little bit of insight before we go in there, each mammoth has roughly, um, some of them have 10, some of them have 7, some of them have eight um veggie cakes so they're kind of spread all around i think we'll be okay honestly um i'm a little worried about these guys so i think we'll be okay with the gamma fight honestly i think we'll be okay beta i don't think they're gonna survive the alpha fight um so i've been starting to do a little bit of therizino breeding i have a little bit more work to do but i kind of want to see how far we can get these guys going because honestly i just don't want to leave them in cryopods and just kind of leave them deserted pretty much like they deserve to go out with a bang let's be honest if they're gonna if they're gonna do this they've taken out the brood mother force they've taken out the megapithecus force let's see if they can take out the dragon i'm really really excited for this let's get over to my little uh area right here so i could show you guys what you need specifically for um for the fight basically so obviously artifact of the cunning Artifact of the Immune, Artifact of the Skylord, and Artifact of the Strong. As you guys know, I always get five of them, just in case if we run into any uh, mishaps, let's put it that way. Um, so you do need the Artifacts. That is, the Artifacts is the only requirement that you need uh, to spawn in the uh, Gamma one. Now when it gets to Beta, you are also going to need to add five Allosaurus Brain to that, five Basilosaurus Blubber, um, five Tuso Tentacles, five T-Rex Arms, five Uniranus lungs, and then finally, one Giga Heart, <laughs> which is where a pain in the ass to get, let's be honest. We all know this is an absolute pain to get. And this should show you just how much harder the dragon is than, like, every other fight. It's like, yeah, no big deal. Let's, let's just get a Giga Heart. And to spawn in the... Oh, I forgot. And to spawn in the Alpha, you'll need uh, you'll need uh, 10 Allosaurus Brain, 10 Basilo, 2 Giga Hearts, uh, 10 Tuso Tentacles, 10 T-Rex Arms, and finally 10 Uteranus Lungs. So, <laughs> really nervous for this, guys. But I think we'll be okay. Like I said, I think the Gamma fight will be okay. I do already have Gamma up already, so I'm actually at Gamma 3. This was a lot easier if you guys were asking. If you weren't, it doesn't make a difference. I'm still going to tell you anyways. Um, they were a little bit easier getting in this time. So if you guys are ever going to use Mammoths, um, I think this is the route what you should do. So what I did was I threw one out on a cryopod and kind of like cornered it like this, right? So it's facing... Kind of like this, right? And then the next one I literally threw right behind. Like I basically just made like a little like circle around here, right? Once I got to about here, I started doing the interior. So to pop over where that green belly one is, basically you could see another loop. And then once I got to the middle here to here, um, the Uteranus obviously, because I need that in the middle. And then finally to cut off the end here, one and two, which gives us 19 Mammoths and one uh, Uteranus, which we have a lot of space, <laughs> which is absolutely crazy. Um, but I think we're all prepped, ready to go. Let me just make sure. I am just very, very nervous about this. Um, I am going to bring in the Otter, interestingly. And here's why. Um, they give me the Hypo Boost. They give me the Hyper Boost, which in this place, we're going to need some Hyper Boost because it gets really, really hot. Um, I think we're okay with armor-wise. I don't think I need to replace any um repair any of this maybe the maybe this is gonna cause an issue for it. Eh, i think we'll be okay regardless um i don't think it's gonna be too bad especially with the gamma fight um so just to go over everything everything that i pretty much do have on is flak which is going to be a big hypo boost so that's like better in the cold um so that's why i'm bringing the otter along now i don't know if the otter takes more like reduced oops reduce stupid bushes, uh, reduce damage or anything by, yeah, so I actually gave him a organic, um, organic, a, um, uh, what are they called? 
a ghillie uh, helmet, basically. And then I added the uh, Uncle Sam hat to it. I don't know if he's going to take reduced damage. I don't know if you guys know. Let me know, because I'm actually kind of curious um, if that actually works or not. Giving him a better armor hat, is he going to take reduced damage like our character would? Um, but yeah, I think we're all ready to go. Oh my gosh, this is absolutely crazy. <laughs> we're getting ready to do this. Okay, let's let's load this guy up. I think we're good to go. Um, I am gonna bring the spy, the spy, uh, the spy glass with me because anything longer distance. If you guys don't know, um, you can actually use the spyglass. If something's further out, you can actually use your whistle, like the call, um, in order for stuff to attack stuff at longer distances, which is kind of cool. It definitely helps. Um, I'm going to put everyone on neutral for this one um, because I want it where if I get attacked, especially with the flyers, the pteranodons, the demorphodons, stuff like that, everyone's just basically going to come straight at me and try to get rid of all of these uh, demorphodons and stuff because that is the biggest killer in this one honestly Whew. all right i'm a bit nervous for this i hope we do well we have the uteranus good to go we have everyone good to go let's start the fight guys here we go um yeah i don't need this oh oh my god imagine <laughs> let's pick that up <laughs> yeah we kind of need that uh let's get rid of the measure barriers let's get rid of this let's get rid of this because we don't need that stuff obviously okay here we go Gamma fight, here we come. Okay. Whew. All right, this is scary, but let's go. All right, 29 seconds, stay by you. I've already checked the otter. The otter has a lot of, uh, a lot of whatchamacallit on it, a lot of fish, so we should be okay there. Um, got 37 food, so I should be pretty good there. I do have a full canteen of water, so we should be good there. Shotguns loaded, ready to go. And yeah, I think we're good. Nine seconds, eight, seven. I think the gamma fight will be okay with, but we'll see what happens. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, boys. Here we go. All right, let's get near the Uteranus. Come on. Let's get everyone kind of over there. Come on. And everyone over there. Go, 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 go. You guys are very slow. That's not good. It's so crazy that we're already starting this fight. Um, I don't even see it. Uh-oh. A little worried. Oh, there he is. Okay, I was going to say, like, uh, did he just not show up? That would be so great. All right. Uh, let me start doing some roars, I think. Start getting these guys boosted. Alright, they're gonna have to kind of just hang out, unfortunately. Alright, here we go. We're gonna start getting attacked, so let's kind of get close here. And just not get hit. <laughs> okay, guys, stay here. Save them to get. Okay, I gotta move. I gotta move. Okay. Alright, looks like they're fully boosted. I'm gonna wait for this dragon to get a lot closer. And... Go! Now get him, guys. Go, 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 go. Come on, guys, get in there. Come on, guys, go. I gotta get out of the way there. I cannot get hit with that. All right, yeah, okay, so we're already, okay. Doing pretty good. Um, looks like our guys are taking out about 100 damage each time. That breath is going to be a bit of an issue, but they are definitely... They're hitting pretty hard, so... Oh, God, I cannot get hit with that. All right, guys. So, Dragon is halfway already. We're looking pretty good here. Oh, my God. 
I did not expect Mammoth to start dying here. Oh, no. How? Wow. Okay. Um, we're down three Mammoths already. Wow. For a Gamma fight. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let me kind of loop this way. Let them get hit a bit. Guys, stay there, stay there, stay there. Alright, let me kind of get behind them so they'll just attack. Alright, looks pretty good so far. Come on, guys. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Wait for him to come down. Let me slowly back up here. <laughs> All right, so if we, oh, four, five, oh, this is not good. Oh, I really don't want to have to split these up in three episodes. Because uh, are they going to really survive a beta? Let's be honest, with five down already, possibly six or seven at this point. Six, seven, eight, oh my God. Nine. And the Therizinos are not ready to go, so, oh, jeez. All right, well. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to lose a ton of these things, too. Oh, my gosh. This is just... How many did we lose? We lost a lot. We lost like nine or ten. We lost more. Yeah, there's no way we're going to be able to. Whoops. I don't know why I'm trying to take the saddles. There's no need for the saddles. It is it is what it is at this point. We're not going to be using these guys for the next fights. Um, okay, wow. Um, I didn't really expect this. I kind of expected them to be able to get beta, no problem. Like at least gamma, no problem. Beta, you know, we, we would struggle, but we would be okay. Wow, I really don't want it to be this quick. <laughs> this was only a 12-minute episode. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, so let's let's kind of get back. Let's uh, we got three seconds here. Let's see how they're doing. Let's see if it's even I don't know remotely a possibility. I don't think it really is. Let's be honest. Let's see kind of what we're looking at here. Oh, that's it. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. I mean, no, 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 no. I mean, I do have some mammoths back at um, base. It would take a little while, but I can probably just... They have levels ready to go on them. Maybe we'll kind of just throw all of our eggs in one basket with this one. Like, use the perfect male, perfect female. I have a couple more back at base. I have one, a couple that have, like, uh, mutations and stuff like that. Maybe we'll just kind of throw everything in and see what happens for beta. I'm a little, ugh, I'm a little concerned about this though. Let's be honest. Ugh. All right, let me think this over. I really just the thing is, I kind of assumed. Let's be honest. I kind of assumed we were going to be able to get through gamma no problem. Beta was going to be our issue. I did not expect them to really be this not bad because they've been really good. But like, this dragon is no joke. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, yeah, like, I mean. Yeah, 15, oh my god, out of 35,000, like 15,000, yeah, like 15, 20,000, yeah, and then all of our, all my veggie cakes and stuff are gone pretty much at this point. Oh, boy, okay, yeah, this is gonna take a little bit, um, oh, I'm kind of, a, I'm, oh my god, I'm more, like, just shocked. I don't think they're even gonna survive, um, they're not gonna survive beta, even if I bring the other ones over. I think it's just... I think this is kind of the end of the line for the Mammoth Army. I think this is it. I don't think we can even take a chance, because I don't want to lose all my stuff, especially, like, the Ascendant, uh... 
the Ascendant Shotgun. I don't want to lose the, the Uranus. Um, wow. Okay, guys. Um, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make the decision here, uh, guys. That is going to be end the end of this episode, unfortunately. Um, yeah. You know what? I don't think even bringing the other ones over that I have at base, kind of doing an all or nothing kind of thing. I don't know. I don't think it's feasible. One, I gotta make all. I gotta make a ton of. Um, they pretty much just ate all of my veggie cakes, so that's it. I gotta get more veggie cakes. Um, I gotta make more of those saddles, and if I'm making the saddles, I might as well just breed the um, the Therizino army at this point. Wow. Um, very, very surprising episode, guys. Wow, very, very quick. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, let me know in the comments down below what you guys would, what you guys think. Like, would we have survived the beta fight? I feel like no way. I mean, if we struggled this much with the Gamma fight, hell, we got through Gamma, which is awesome. Don't get me wrong, I am really happy that these things actually muscled their way through not only the Brood Mother, but also the um, Megapithecus. But it just, they're, they're no match for the dragon. And I mean, these guys are like, these guys are stacked. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Like, let's see, let's, let's go back in. Like, like it's got over a thousand, yeah, 1,396 melee. Like, absolutely oh god uh absolutely crazy oh my gosh okay yeah so you know what guys um i am gonna end the episode here um definitely gonna focus on just theory specifically at this point um so guys next uh episode will most likely be i mean hopefully beta and uh alpha I'm kind of upset that I have to end it at Gamma, but I think you, I think, and I hope you guys understand. Anyways, guys, like I said, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys are excited for the beta and the alpha fight like I am. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.